Hi, and welcome to another episode of Shazamwiches. I'm here at my friend Martin's house. Hello. You might recognize him from one, what, one-fifth of the up-and-coming East LA band, The Zoo? Yes. Is there five of you guys? It's like eight of us. Eight of you guys? <laughs> Alright, well he's part of The Zoo. He's uh, one of the guitarists for this great band. We recommend you guys check him out. Um, we're here, we're going to make a very popular time of day sandwich, which is going to be the breakfast sandwich. So he's let us see everything in his uh, refrigerator and kitchen. So let me go show you what we're, we're going to cook with today. We have eggs and potatoes and cheese and onion and some Farmer John's hot Louisiana brand smoked sausage, some chorizo, some bell pepper, and some Valentina hot sauce. So the bread we're using for today is Van de Kamp's own sourdough and regular English muffins. You can't have a proper breakfast sandwich without these little English muffin looking things. Van de Kamp. So to get started, I'm going to have Martin here cut up some potato and I'm going to start chopping up all the vegetables that we need. So we cut the butt off of the sausage and we are going to make little chunks of it so we can have proper sausage flavor in every bite. Uh, I'm just uh, gonna cook the potatoes. Just put a little bit of oil to make sure they don't stick. The master plan is we're gonna whip this all together with the egg and then put it in a sandwich so it's free of any stuff and crap falling off from the sides and you can hold it one-handed because that's how you need your breakfast sandwiches to be. It's easy and it's quick it's delicious and you can probably eat while driving even though I'm supposed to go on record and say you probably shouldn't. You know they say you can't fold a paper in half more than seven times. Let's see how many times we can get it with ham. One, two, three, three. Just like start cutting chunks now. Interesting little thing I found out the other day. If you cut onions, you know how you cry when you do that? If you place a bread in your mouth, sticking halfway out, you won't cry. Let's put that to the test. What? Huh? That's not true. No? You put a bread halfway in your mouth? Yeah, put a piece of bread in your mouth. Watch, I'm gonna try it. Regular English muffin, but maybe that'll count. I heard if you wash them in the refrigerator, on the that takes it away. That's true. When I used to work at Subway, they used to make us freeze the, uh, the onions for a while before you cut them because you know it's just like it's not it's just ice it's not going into the world into the air around you all right let's try it we're gonna try this mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh the mm -hmm. wow that's amazing communication man. i'm gonna <laughs> use a quarter of this chorizo i'm gonna mix the chorizo squeeze it out into this bowl right here real quick i think it says delicious chorizo like bowl chorizo mix in some diced onions some ham, and some hot Italian sausage. This is a very sexy sandwich. And I'm gonna crack the egg. Can you crack an egg with one hand? With one hand? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah, all right. <laughs> Use a fork and whip these eggs into shape. I love yolk. Yolk's the best part of the egg. And eggs are very good for you. There's like six grams of protein in every egg. So, you know, always eat an egg in the morning. Don't even cook it. Just be like Ivan Drago. He will break you. So we're gonna take our bell pepper and we're gonna cut it kind of into thick slices. Maybe about a half an inch thick. But what you want is these giant rings. You'll see why in a bit. You could also do it with onion. I just don't recommend it. It's like a four leaf clover with three leaves. Yummy. I love when my egg starts bubbling. We're gonna toss some of this into each ring and pray to God that this works out. Now we're gonna wait and let this cook for a bit because it is egg and chorizo and everything else. So let's just let it simmer in its own juices for about a year. And we're back. <laughs> it still hasn't cooked. <laughs> Damn it. We'll play this theme no. song 17 more times. <laughs> so now we're just uh, flipping these things because they've cooked properly enough so that they can all could be contained in the bell pepper. What would be the complimentary beer to this? Complimentary beer? A nice sharp top raspberry wheat? <laughs> but that just goes with everything. Okay, we're gonna, now that this gets in there flip, we're gonna toss these potato skins on there. Actually, can you pass me the cheese as well? So what we're trying to do is make these all like self-contained huge patties. And use it. So we're gonna let the rest of this simmer down, cook properly, and then we're gonna eat it. These are done cooking, they look pretty bomb. The bread's done toasting, they look pretty bomb. So now we begin the assembly, which is simply just place the entire contraption on one, like so. And then a little bit of bean? Hell yeah. Just, I don't know how much to put on each one. Just a good little amount. 
Oh, I mind to keep it to a couple of droplets. Right, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I can sense the tone. Well, thank you guys for joining me. Thank you, Martin, for allowing us all in your home again. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Breakfast handshake. So, join us next time where we visit someone else's house and we'll see what they have in their kitchen. So, from everybody here at the Sandwiches, I'm gonna just keep eating the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs>